Do you have dynamic content on your Elementor website in which you could create a pop-up that pulls dynamic information whenever you click on something? In this tutorial, I'll show you exactly how it's done. All right, this tutorial does assume that you know about custom post types. It assumes that you know how to install plugins into Elementor, and it assumes you know how to use Jet Engine from CocoBlock. So you're gonna need Elementor, in particular Elementor Pro, and you're gonna need the CocoBlock Toolkit. The CocoBlock Toolkit, very hard to just say. Uh, it's an invaluable tool if you're ever developing Elementor websites as it allows you to add a lot of functionality. In particular, from the CocoBlock Suite, we're gonna use the Jet Engine portion of it, and we're gonna use the Jet Pop-Up. The Jet Engine is gonna host our dynamic data, and the Jet Pop-Up is gonna allow us to connect that dynamic data to the pop-up that we wanna create. Heading into the backend of the website, we're gonna check a few things. The first thing is we're gonna make sure we go down to Crocodile Block, we're going to go into Dashboard, and we're going to double check that both Jet Pop-Up and Jet Engine are both installed. If you do not see them here, make sure you click on the Install button, and then either install them from the options below, and then after you do that, make sure that you actually have it activated. Sometimes after you install it, you won't automatically activate, so you're going to need to click the Activate button. That's the basics of making sure that this is all set up and good to go. In addition, you're going to need to create the team custom post type with the Jet Engine plugin, and that can be done via the post type section. Again, if you do not know about custom post types, I highly recommend you watch a tutorial on that first. We want to keep this tutorial very fast and simple and straight to the point. So make sure you do that before watching the rest of the video. Okay, so after that, the first thing we're gonna do is something simple. We're just gonna add team members to our, soft, to our website just to make sure we have enough data to work with. I took the opportunity and already kind of uploaded some photos to make the process a little bit simpler. So for now, I'm just gonna create some names. We're gonna give this person a title. We're gonna call it Head Chef. We're gonna give them a bio, so it's always good to use the lorem ipsum generator to make things a little bit simpler. Here we go. And then we're gonna select the feature image from our database. So that's our head chef. We're gonna publish. And we're gonna do the same for the other two team members. We're going to go back into the team section and make sure that all the members are there and make sure that all the positions are set to go and it looks like everything looks good from that end. So now we're going to go into the actual front end and start kind of developing that part of the, of the process. So on the front end, let's review what we're going to do. On the about page, you're going to have a team of people that when you click on it, it's going to display their bio and their um, photo in a pop-up. So and this information is gonna come dynamically from the database. So a quick way to edit this page is just to click on the top area of the website, or you can go back to the dashboard, select pages, all pages, and then select about, edit with Elementor. So again, we're replacing this manual team members with dynamic content, so let me just remove that. Hit update. And then now if you have used Corco Block and uh, Jet Engine in the past, you know that it comes with a listing grid feature that allows you to put dynamic content from the database, including custom post types. So we're gonna drag and drop it into our interface. And then we're gonna see a message that says, please select listing to show. Now this area refers to the listing area of the listing grid widget. It expects you to create a kind of template for every single one of those cards. So uh, for example, every chef is going to have maybe an image, a title, and a description. I'm sorry, a, an image, a uh, name, and maybe a position. And then that information is going to be repeated. So that's what this kind of does. Um, so right now we haven't created that yet. That's going to be the next step. But, you know, just to touch upon a few um, sections here, you're, we're going to want to display three columns. And the number of posts, that's going to be how many total 
members of our team is going to be displayed before we get to the load more area. For now we're going to put 9 just in case in the future we have up to 9 and anything after that is going to use a load more feature. For now we don't need to worry about that in terms of this particular tutorial. We want to just focus specifically on the pop-up feature. Okay, so we're going to update that so now this is ready to go and then now we're going to go and create that listing. So we're going to exit. We're going to go scroll down to Jet Engine and we're going to go into listings. We're going to create add new. Now this listing is pulling custom post type. So we're going to select post from the listing source. And what kind of post type are we selecting? Well, we're selecting from the team. So we're going to select team from the options. And then we're going to give it a name. We're going to call it team grid just so it's easy to identify. And then we're going to be editing with the Elementor editor, not the Gutenberg editor. So make sure you select the Elementor option from here. I create a listing item. And this is going to take us into the Elementor editor where we're going to create that um, listing for the listing grid. Now, the first thing I like to do personally is I like to make this a little bit more manageable. That image on the listing grid is not going to be so wide. It's going to be three columns so it's going to be maybe uh, one third of the size of this so I'm going to scroll down to the bottom left I'm going to choose settings listing settings and I'm going to type in a number that's a little bit more easier to to see and kind of manage uh, typically when you're list doing listing grids you would click this to make sure everything is clickable but because um, we just want the image to be what generates the pop-up we don't have to click on we don't have to actually click take this on yet so we're going to hit update. And then here we're just going to design quickly what that listing is going to look like. So we're going to put a feature image in the top. We're going to drag the image widget up there. We're going to go into our dynamic tags because we're pulling dynamic content. And we're going to choose the feature image. And that should replace the image with one of the images in the back. And then we're going to choose a smaller size because since this is a small image, we, we can get away with using a smaller size in terms of SEO that's better for us faster load times all right we're going to complete this by adding two more widgets the heading widget which is going to be the person's name again we're going to click on dynamic tag we're going to choose post title and that should populate the name and then we're going to hit another one and then we're going to be using the position of the person so we're going to look for a custom post type which this one's going to be the custom field and we're going to select from the team we're going to select position and that should populate now this looks pretty good but we want to make sure it looks a little bit cleaner we want to make sure that the name of the person it's bigger than the title otherwise they compete with each other so and i think it's a little bit big to begin with so we're going to go select the heading widget for the name then we're going to go to typography and we're going to choose something a little bit more manageable, maybe 24. And then we're going to choose that person's position. And we're going to make it slightly smaller. And let's maybe choose a 21. All right. So that's looking a lot better already. But the position's a little bit far away from the title. So just to make things a little nicer, we're going to move it in a little bit closer by adding negative margin. Let's use 18 of 10 instead of 20. I think that looks a little bit better. All right, so we're going to hit update. For now, we're done here. Let's just see what we're at. We're going to go back to the front page. And then right now, as you can see, even though we created the listing, we haven't actually connected it together. So that's going to be the next step. So we're going to go back into the About Editor section. We're going to select the Listing Grid widget. Okay, it should show up here selected. And then from the drop down, we're going to type in Team Grid, which is what we called it. And now, as you can see, it's populating all of the team members dynamically, which is awesome. It's exactly what we want. And we're making some really good progress already. Now, the thing that's missing, now let's preview this on the homepage, actually, well, on the front end. So we have the, the team members, but we can't really click on any of these. So what's the next step so i would say the next step is to create what the pop-up is going to look like you know we want to make sure 
we kind of see what that looks like before we go through the process of doing the dynamic information. So we're going to go to the dashboard. And at this point, we're going to go into Jet Pop-Up. We're going to go into All Pop-Ups. Now we don't have anything, and we're going to create a new pop-up. So we're going to create, you know what, let's just go into here and create a new pop-up from scratch. We're going to call it Team Detail. We're going to hit Publish, and we're going to edit with Elementor. Now this is kind of the same thing as the listing grid here. We're going to just design what the pop-up is going to look like. Um, right now, we are going to skip a step, which is adding the dynamic information because I want to show you something. But essentially, the first thing I like to do is design the way this will look like using static content. So I do want this pop up to be two columns. So we're going to go into the plus sign. We're going to create two columns. And this is a little bit small. So we want to make sure we change it and just make, it, make the pop up a little bit bigger. So you will go to settings. And in Jet Pop-Up Settings, that's where you kind of set the size of the pop-up. You go into Style, and then you go to Pop-Up Container, and then here you can make it a little bit bigger. All right, so far it's looking good. There is a little bit of pad, a little too much padding around, so I'm just going to lower that a little bit. All right, that's a little bit more manageable. I think people will be able to see the content a little bit better. All right, so let's design it. So we're going to do the person's image on the left hand side. We're going to currently just use manual content. All right, we just want to make sure it looks good before we add dynamic content because you'll see that once we add dynamic content, um, that information is going to disappear. It's, it's the way the nature of the way that this works. Unfortunately, it's not very smooth, but it still does allow us to use to create something that works the way we want it to work. Okay, the last one's going to be a text editor widget, which is going to contain the person's bio. All right, so let's hit update. All right, this is looking pretty good. Let's just fix a few things. Let's make that a little bit smaller. It's a little bit big. Let's make that maybe 24, and we'll make the position 21 as well. And then we're going to bring it in like we did in the other page, a little bit closer up. All right, that looks great. And then I think this looks pretty good. I don't think I need to touch it just for this example. I think this is looking pretty good as it is. All right, let's go back into the settings. And then let's just pick how we want the pop-up to, I guess, appear on the side. This is. Zoom in looks pretty good, so we're going to choose that from the drop down menu. The open event, you're going to leave alone because actually what's going to generate this pop up is going to be an action that happens in the listing itself. So we're going to leave that alone. Let's hit update. And then let's go back now to the home page, just to I mean the front end, just to see where we are at this point. All right, so we have the team ready to go, we have the pop up design ready to go. Now we just have to connect the two things together. So we're going to go into the team grid, which is the listing item. Okay, and then now we're going to connect the pop-up to it. So you're going to click on the image, or if you were to add a link to the heading or the sous chef or anything in general, any link that you wanted to do, whether you wanted to create a button or what have you, you will click on that, and then you will click on advanced settings. Then you would choose Jet Pop-Up. And then from here, you would click on the pop-up that you created. In this case, would be Team Detail. The trigger type is a click on the widget. So you're going to want to click on this widget. And then that's going to open up the pop-up. And then because this widget is a part of a listing grid, if you recall, the listing grid is that area of the website that has the three different uh, cards of the, of the team members. Uh, because it happens inside a jet engine listing, we're going to make sure we click yes. This is kind of part of the magic that tells the, the, the front end that, hey, this pop-up is actually so part of dynamic content. All right, so we're going to exit out of here. Again, let's go back to the home page. The reason I'm going back to, I keep calling it home page, but the about page, 
the reason I'm showing you that is so you can kind of see the process as it as it happens. So when you click on it, you see that now the pop-up is being pulled, but the dynamic content is not being pulled yet. And that's okay because we haven't actually populated the content of that pop-up with dynamic content. So we're going to go now back into the pop-up and we're going to hit edit with Elementor. Now this is where the magic happens. So we're going to replace the static information now that we're happy with the way it looks with the dynamic content. So we're going to click on dynamic tags and this is going to be the feature images viewer call. We're going to choose the name section. We're going to click dynamic tag and choose the post title because that's the name of the person. And then we're going to choose position and then we're going to choose the custom post type of position. And then we're finally going to replace the bio by clicking on the dynamic tag, scrolling down to Jet Engine Custom Field, and choosing bio. So let's hit update. And now let's refresh the home page and see what happens. I mean, again, the home page, the about page to see what happens. Now, when you click, you'll notice that nothing is happening. It's just pulling the title and post title of the about page. Why is that? Well, although we told it it's part of a Jet Engine listing um, uh, widget, we still haven't done the full connection. Like, we're not, we haven't told this pop up to use dynamic content. Not really. So, we're going back into settings. We're going to have to go into settings here. And this is the important part. So, you're going to select load content with Ajax. We're going to hit yes. And then we're going to force loading. So what this does is it says here, force loading every time you open the pop-up. So let's say, let's leave it off for a second to show you what happens. If you leave it off, you'll notice that if you click on Michael Jordan, now his pop-up is actually pulling his information. And when you click on Michelle, it's only pulling Michael Jordan's pop-up or information. That's because we want to make sure that every single time you click on that pop-up, that the content is updated based on what you clicked on. So now let's refresh the page. And now, as you can see, the information is pulled correctly. Perfect. This is exactly what we want. There's just a one little thing I like to fix, this pop-up that you can scroll up and down and the website still scrolls. You're scrolling. It's very annoying. So I would do two more things here. I would um, disable page scrolling. And then the last thing I would do is change the style of this little button here. So the close button, I would choose a different style and I would just change the color to green to match the website. All right, that's finally the one last thing I would do is, so let's make sure that works perfect. Now you can scroll up and down and the icon is green. The last thing I would do is just Again, for loading purposes, display conditions, since this pop-up only really happens on the About page, I will click on Display Conditions, I would add a condition, I would include this in, the, in a singular page, which is the About page. That way, this, all this stuff will only happen on that page. Let's go back to the About page, make sure it works. And, yep, there it is. We got it working, and it looks beautiful. I hope you found this tutorial useful. I am looking forward to making some really advanced Elementor and Crocoblock tutorials in the future. So if you don't want to miss out, make sure you subscribe.